Hey guys, I'm Eric Peterson and I'm a men's dating and relationship coach for skillofattraction.com and today's attraction tips video is called women will always test you. Now this is another very confusing aspect about women and it almost always catches men off guard. However, it's only confusing because men just don't understand it and they're rarely expecting these tests. But today, I'm here to tell you that you should always be expecting a woman's test. It doesn't matter if you've just started dating her, you've been in a relationship for a couple years, you're married, or even if she's just a female friend. Women are going to throw these tests at you to see what you're made of and see how you handle it. These tests often come out of nowhere and they're typically designed to throw you off center. They're like a little sucker punch and they could really sting if you're not prepared. However, women aren't doing this to hurt you. It's really instinctual and a lot of the times they don't even realize that they're doing it. So in this attraction tips video, I'm going to discuss why women test men, how they test men, and how you could pass her tests in order to increase and maintain her attraction for you. But if you guys have any questions, whether it be about one of my videos or you're having some issues in your own relationship, please feel free to send me an email. All you have to do is head over to my website at skillofattraction.com, click on the contact tab, and shoot me a message from there. All I ask is that you keep your message to me rather short and concise. Just stick to the important things that I need to know. And I will get back to you as soon as I can. If it's a good question that I think will benefit my subscribers, I will answer your question in a video. And of course, I will keep all of your personal info private. But I will get back to you as soon as I can. I have to take care of my paying clients first. So you just need to be a little patient and I will respond to you with either a video or a written response. And But if you guys need to get in touch with me right away, the best way to do that is, again, head to my website at skillofattraction.com, click on the coaching tab, and there I have several options for you to choose from. I offer both emergency coaching and I offer monthly coaching where I will work with you throughout the month to try to get whatever relationship issue you're having and get you back on track. Okay, so why do women test men? Well, they do it because... They must. They have to ensure that they're investing their emotions into the right man. When women test, it's really a subtle way to filter out the weak from the strong or the insecure from the confident or the betas from the alphas. You see, over tens of thousands of years of evolution, women have developed these filters, these, these tests. They're often referred to as shit tests. And they do it as a way to see if you're really the strong, confident man that you've led her to believe that you are. Because men could fake strength and confidence to a certain degree. So she needs to know and be reassured throughout the relationship that you're the real deal. Now, if you fail too many of these tests, she seemingly will start throwing these tests at you constantly as a way to snatch up the power. Again, which is another test. And as I've discussed before, once she snatches up the power, it's over. Her attraction for you will plummet, the sex will de decrease significantly, and you're more than likely on your way out. Most guys don't even see this stuff coming. They're too busy defending themselves. They're trying to close the gap between he and his girl. You know, if she's pulling away or acting bitchy or something of that nature, the guy starts to think that she doesn't love him anymore. So he's trying to close that gap and get her back to being the sweet, affectionate girl she always was. And women start to read the, these actions as insecurity and weakness. Now, I'm sure many of you are wondering, well, how do I know if it's a test? And these tests, they could come in many forms. And like I said before, they often just come out of left field. So as an example, say you just met a girl, maybe you're out at a bar or something and you're chatting her up and things are going really well. She seems to be really responsive to you. And just like out of nowhere, she might say, you know what? I think you're nothing but a player and I don't date players. Most guys begin defending themselves right away. Like they'll be saying, I'm not a player. I really want to get to know you. I really like you. 
Well, you know what? You just failed her test. So instead, you might want to counter that kind of accusation with something a little cocky and, and a little humorous. You don't want to be too cocky because that may came, come off as arrogant. So you want to just mix a little humor in with that. Almost to the point where she's not really sure if you're serious or not. So you may respond to her saying, well, you're nothing but a player and I don't date players. You just have like a little devilish smirk on your face and say something along the lines of, who said anything about dating? And, you know, she may laugh a little bit or smile, but she's going to probably continue the conversation after that. Or another example, say you've been in a long-term relationship with her. And just out of the blue, she says something like, uh, you're getting fat. It's gross. And the beta in you is going to want to defend yourself or say something equally as hurtful to her. But instead, you just want to be a little indifferent to her jabs. And, and again, just be a little cocky and a little humorous. Maybe say something along the lines of, well, there's just more of me to love. And then you just wrap your arms around her and, you know, playfully nibble on her neck. Nom, 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 nom. And, you know, she's probably going to get a kick out of that. Now she knows that that's not really going to affect you either way. It's really just about showing her that you're not affected by these little jabs towards you. So you just respond in a confident yet playful sort of way. And this is really how you pass her test. Because... When you get all upset and overly emotional, you just reek of weakness, and it really only causes her to test you more and more. But on the other hand, once you pass her test, the less she will test you or stop altogether because she begins to feel safe and comfortable around you again, and her attraction for you begins to rise. So you essentially just want to be prepared for these tests to come at any time and for any reason because... Not all tests come in the form of these little insults. You know, sometimes she tests you by canceling a date at the last minute. Or maybe she puts you in, a, in the friend zone as a test. Or maybe she does what they call a fake breakup as a way to test you to see how you're going to react. Because, like I said, women's tests could come in many forms. And sometimes it's difficult to tell if it is, in fact, a test. But now that you know what to look for in general and how to handle it, you're going to get better over time at detecting your tests and how to respond to them. I mean, it does take some practice, and it also takes some authentic masculine transformation on your part. In other words, you need to keep improving on your confidence and being the best man you could be. Because once you get to a certain point, a lot of this stuff is just going to come natural to you. You're not going to have to watch videos or read books about all this stuff. And too many guys, when they watch my videos or read my articles, they think these are some manipulation tactics in order to trick women into liking them. And that's not it. The reason I'm trying to get all this information out to you guys is so you can begin to internalize it as you're working on transforming yourself into, like I said, the best man you could be. So if you guys found this video helpful or any of my videos helpful, I would really appreciate a thumbs up and for you to share it with any of your friends and family who also may find it helpful. And I would also really appreciate you hitting the subscribe button down below and ticking that bell symbol that's next to it so you'll get real-time notifications of when I upload new videos. And in the description down below, I will have a link to both my contact page and my coaching page. And I also have a link to PayPal if you would like to make a donation. I would really appreciate it. So that's it for this video. I'm glad you guys watched it all the way to the end, and I will catch you on the next video. Have a good one. Bye-bye.